Today we're visiting Castle Rock. Castle Rock is a geological limestone stack and tourist attraction located three miles north of St. Ignace, Michigan, off I-75 in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Just over the Mackinac Bridge here in the UP is a little place called Castle Rock. This is going to be our first hike of our journey here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And we're going to stop and walk the stairs to the top of Castle Rock. I'll try to get this behind me so you have a, an idea of what we're talking about. You can see right there is a rock formation that, that uh, you can climb to and get out and check out the area of St. Ignace. So we were told to follow Paul Bunyan's footsteps. It's kind of interesting if you watched any of our other videos. We keep bumping in to the same famous lumberjack and his ox. There he is again. Mr. Paul Bunyan and his ox Bay. Kind of awkward to, uh, to find Paul Bunyan sitting on the throne in the bathroom. But, you know, everybody goes, everybody does it. So, can't be weird about it. All right, here we go. We are on our way, heading up the stairs to Castle Rock. Okay, that's enough, I'm out of breath already. glad that they have a sign for me here just letting everybody know that I might be passing through or wait a minute what do I see Sasquatch himself honey I'm not talking about you there are a total of 171 steps to the top of Castle Rock, so it's definitely not for everyone. It's quite a climb up here. <laughs> yeah, we got a bench, man, thank God. There's way too much. Come on, man. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of stairs. So I think we're halfway up. It's a good first hike. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, we made it up the next flight of stairs. We're almost there. There's no guarantee I'm gonna get out on this rock. I'm just warning you. But... <sighs> okay, we're making it up. We're making it up. To Castle Rock. Oh my gosh. At this altitude, the air feels different. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are pretty high up though. Well, I reached my limit. I didn't quite make it across the bridge, but you can see Julie. She's much braver than I am. Um, that bridge literally is between here and the rock. There's, it, it's too big of a drop off for me. I'm a chicken. Castle Rock is considered to be one of the oldest lookout points near St. Ignace. It rises an astonishing 195 feet above water level, offering a scenic view for up to 20 miles. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground I will keep 
keep on searching for my highs. Well, I didn't quite make it to the top. Uh, it was almost there. Then there was this small bridge. It wasn't very big, but uh, wasn't ready to, to cross that. It looked like it had been there about, I don't know, 100 years or something. So I wasn't uh, willing to chance it. But of course, I sent Julie across it. <laughs> Someone's a little scared of heights. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was beautiful up there. He kind of missed out, but at least we'll get to watch some video. That's right, and I made it almost there. I got to see some of the yeah. uh, sights from that from the height. I just didn't make it on top of the the rock, but it was uh, it was a nice hike, yeah. and for a dollar admission, it pretty uh, pretty reasonable. Yeah. So totally worth the dollar for the <laughs> Castle Rock gift shop. Pretty cool. Check that out. All uh, kinds of different things that you would actually expect when you go to the UP. So, a lot of handmade crafts, and there's a lot of Native American um, things that you'll find in these gift shops, which is pretty cool. I always like that stuff. Deer nuts. Sack food. Always under a buck. <laughs> Should we make it all the way to the top? Nope. Well, one of us did. One of us did. Oh my gosh, thanks. Yeah. How many people don't make it to the top? They don't tell. I don't tell. I'm the only one that's actually confessed that I, I didn't make it. <laughs> I noticed there was a lot of small children up there, but for some reason I had a problem with it. I climbed Castle Rock. Roland doesn't get one. Nope. <laughs> so interesting, the uh, gift shop here, if you look at the ceiling, which I'll show you right there. It looks like a birch tree. Everything's covered with uh, what looks like bark. I can weather any storm Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and Ready? We're going to talk to Ruth here. Uh, she's going to give us some history on Castle Rock. Uh, my grandfather bought the property in 1929, and here's some of the pictures from the original. This was the original store, and this was before it was even developed. Wow, so that was 1922 when they come across uh, this area. Right. And you right. can see in the background there is, there's uh, Castle Rock yeah, right there. Yeah, but there's nothing there yet. Yep, no bridge or anything. Yep. So it was just a rock formation that yep. they come across. Or this building was put up about 1950 okay. and the new part was about 1980. We average 100,000 people a year client. Is that right? When that doesn't include, you know, kids and babies and grandma that said, oh, I can't make it, but I'll try. Uh-huh. Yep, so. Now, at one time, the stairs were... Were railroadized. Railroad yeah, yeah, but this it? was my grandfather, Clarence Eby. That was his military picture. Right, 1920. Yeah. Picture. And that's his wife. And then this would have been him. 1925. Yep. So that was right in between, those two pictures are right in between when he um, journeyed out to this area. To right. Castle Rock. Right. And did yep. he, so he purchased the property. He purchased here. the property. It was an old gas station. Really? Okay. And then he developed it into a tourist. I don't know. There's a lot of glare. Oh, Ten yeah. cents. Ten cents to walk up to Castle yep. Rock and you can see in this photo they have the bridge. Now is that the same? That's the same bridge. Bridge. Okay. Yep. And what year was that? Um, probably 19, somewhere around 1929. 1929. So that bridge has been there since Oh, we've had it inspected and right. some of the stuff changed. Yep. And then uh -huh. this is my father and his sister. Oh, yes. Okay. Nice. Jack E. B. Oh, nice. And Thank you. Colleen. And my grandkids work here too. So that would make five generations. Yep. Well, it's been interesting. A lot of history. A lot of history. Well, Ruth, thank you very much for all the information. You're welcome. And it's Thank very you. cool to be uh, visiting 
uh, the UP yep. and Castle Rock. I got some of my Christmas shopping done. <laughs> At the gift shop, all kinds of cool stuff there. Hey, a big shout out to Ruth for all the information and and hospitality she's shown as we uh, we learn more about the area, learn more about her family, and learn more about uh, Castle Rock. Sweet people in there. You should stop here, take a hike up the rock, and then stop in there and visit and tell them we said hello. Absolutely, Ruth and Mark. So when you stop in, tell them we said hi. <laughs>